Good morning, y'all. Y buenos dias. So today is week 13 of the vegan pregnancy update videos. If you guys are interested to see my updates and what I've been up to, then keep on watching. So since we are at week 13, that means that baby is the size of a lemon. And that means that baby is around 2.91 inches and 0.82 ounces. So at this point, they're forming their bulk cords and their teeth buds. So this is the last week of my first trimester. And even though I mentioned in every video, it really has just flown by. It is amazing. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Um, I had mentioned that before as well, how it's going by so fast just because of Luna, but I want to be more mindful and I want to be more present in this pregnancy as well. My weight is still the same and my mood is completely normal now. I think that everything is just kind of settled um, now moving towards the second trimester, which is next week. So excited about that. But uh, it just seems like everything's just super mellowed out and going back to how I usually am. So no cravings, no aches, and no symptoms. So sleep is a whole lot better, which is really great. Um, the only thing is that she um, has had a few accidents the past couple of nights, which is really unusual for her. Um, obviously it's normal since she's two, but uh, it's just kind of strange due to the fact that it had never happened before. And so now uh, she wears her cloth diapers to sleep in at night. Um, usually she would just put on her PJs with pants underneath, but now we like specifically put on her cloth diapers just to be sure. So this is the most exciting part and I had my first appointment and um, I will link the birthing center down below where I'm going, Family Birthing Center in Springfield. They have a beautiful facility with some amazing, amazing people that work there. Um, I was very, very critical on where I wanted to give birth with Luna the first time around and that was just because I had been present for my mom's birth of my little sister Jess and just had heard so many stories of how people were mistreated in the hospital, maybe not like in a violent, you know, physical sort of way, but a lot of mental strain on women who are giving birth, a lot of pressure to doing things that they didn't really feel like they wanted to do for them and for their baby and so I wanted to find a balance between being safe for me and having that freedom and so I had seen so so many beautiful home birth videos and I loved it I loved it and I was so intrigued and I was so ready for it but at the same time in the back of my mind I was like I think that I'll panic. So I've had like ongoing anxiety my entire life and I felt as though that was something that I would not have been able to handle, especially in that moment. And so uh, Zach and I had talked about it and we discussed it and he was very on board for the birthing center as opposed to a home birth because he felt that he would be more comfortable too. But at the end of the day, it was gonna be my decision. And so with Luna, we decided the birthing center was that perfect medium balance between a home birth and a hospital birth. And it's different for everyone. There's a lot of first time moms that do home births their first time around and for that, that's awesome. And then there's women who choose the hospital. And if that works for you, that's awesome as well. It's all about choosing what is best for you and your family because you don't wanna be pressured either way. You don't want to be pressured into going and having a hospital birth if you feel as though that is not the place for you to give birth. Same goes the other way around. Like, Don't feel as though you need to do a home birth just because you saw a bunch of really cute Instagram and YouTube videos on them. Like, Figure out what's best for you and your family and that's really what the best decision is gonna be. So when we decided to you know, go with the birthing center route for Luna, uh, the Baton Rouge Birthing Center was like the only place around for a really far distance and we lucked out because it was three miles away from our house at the time and so again beautiful place super homey my midwives were amazing and Luna's birth was awesome it was it was a dream really and so 
obviously with this pregnancy, I felt a lot more comfortable because, you know, I, I have already gone through it. And so I was more inclined to do home birth. I was like, I think, you know, that I'll be more comfortable. I don't think that I would panic. And so then I started looking it up and they didn't have any midwives available in our area. Cause as you guys, if you guys have followed me for a while, y'all know that we moved to the middle of nowhere, Missouri. And so there was nothing within our area that the midwives would come. And so we started looking for a birthing center and the family birthing center was the one that popped up and had amazing ratings. And so we went and we talked and they seemed like the perfect fit. And which is, it's also kind of funny because the location also kind of looks like the same one that we went to in Louisiana. And so I was like, this is the place. And so I had my first meeting, my first meeting, my first appointment, I guess it could kind of count as a meeting. And it was awesome. I mean, the midwife that I spoke with was just so kind and respectful and, you know, talked about our lifestyle and our decisions of being vegan and all of these things. And she was so on board for it and asked me, you know, what, you know, what I ate and in specific details, you know, just all of the things that they should ask you in your first appointment. And it was like a really long appointment uh, just because they were trying to get as much detail on me as possible. And it went awesome. And also we went over my blood results. And so I had already gone do blood work two weeks beforehand. And then, so they were just kind of like reading through saying how everything was. And my blood work was awesome. I'm tooting my own horn because that is something that a lot of people, a lot of you guys have mentioned and asked me before like, you know, I'm vegan and have been for years, but you know, I'm trying to get pregnant and I don't want to do anything that would harm the baby, you know, by not eating meat or dairy or whatever. And my blood results, she was like shook y'all. And she was like, these are perfect. These are great. She was like, whatever it is that you're doing, keep doing it because these don't lie. And I was like, yes, because as a vegan mom, we get criticized a lot like oh you know you're not getting enough this if you're vegan you're not getting enough that the fetus isn't getting enough that and it's it's just it's just false information that is out there if you are eating a well-balanced plant-based diet you can have a super healthy pregnancy and a very healthy baby luna running around over there is the example and that's one of my main reasons for making all of these videos is to share my story of a plant-based eating mama who has already had a super healthy vegan baby and now on round two. And so if you ever think and doubt, please inform yourself on the nutrition side, on the health benefit side of it, because you can totally, totally have a plant-based vegan baby and be totally healthy along the way. Um, don't let those negative comments get to you. I know a lot of you guys um, who may not have like a lot of information on it will steer away because again, you don't have the information so you don't wanna do something wrong. So I urge you to read, 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 read as much as you can on peer reviewed articles and so i'll link a ton of information down below so you guys can read it and inform yourself because don't take everything i say as blank face truth you need to do your own research and you need to figure out you know what is best for whatever lifestyle choice you're making and after that ramble another really exciting thing is that we heard the heartbeat at the appointment which is actually the second time we hear the heartbeat <laughs> because whenever i was down in louisiana i was at my friends david and taylor's house and they have two little ones and they're super super cute and he for some reason has a little heartbeat machine thingy i don't know what it's called but he has one <laughs> that he connects to his phone or I don't know what it was like. It was like, you know, like a little tiny one. And so whenever I was over there, uh, I got to do it and you got to listen to it. And that was really awesome. So, so whenever I went to the appointment, it was actually the second time that we heard the heartbeat. And now for the bump. It's cold, y'all. That's why I'm wearing my jacket. There we go. 
little bumperu. As you can see, my shirts are already kind of riding up. It only gets more intense from here. Boop. So that is it for today's video. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Tasukamati for watching, and I'll talk to y'all later.